first now. Right, bro. So death to y'all. You know? Hey, you know what? The, your destruction is going to be even worse. You know? Because the scripture said, you know, y'all going to have the worst punishment. Oh, you just, huh. Why do y'all about to me have a shot? You just reminded me of another scripture, bro. Uh, let me see. No time to be trying to chuck a job, man. It, it's not. It's, it's no time to sit there and try to fall out. We're we're at the end, man. And that just shows you your faith level, man. It, it shows you your faith level. You, you just you you saying that you really don't have no faith in your house by shaking your house shop, man. Especially if you dropping out. Or you drop. See, you not you not just dropping out of out of GMS, man. You dropping out of the truth, man. That's what you dropping out of. We can give a damn if you, if you leave GMS, man. We can, we can care less. It, it's, it's you dropping out of the truth, man. That, that's, that's the problem, you know? You know, if, if y'all could get on one accord with, you know, Greg Mills all day, you know, y'all should have still stayed in the truth, man. Still kept pushing the truth, you know? Stop mixing y'all doctrines up, man. But y'all, y'all ain't even doing that. That's that's why the scripture says woe to y'all, man, or death to y'all. Go ahead. This is Sirach, chapter twenty-three, verse nineteen. I mean, verse uh twenty-one. It said, "This man shall be punished in the streets of the city, and where he suspected not, he shall be taken." That's right. Cause you go, you gonna find yourself dead in these streets, man. And when that time comes, you ain't gonna know. You know? Shit. Like like a couple of elders, I mean the elders brought out, man. A couple of people, you know, before us, they they dropped out the truth or started teaching the wrong doctrine, you know, then what happened? You know, the most I put them to death. Oh, excuse me, Yahweh by Shim, Yahweh Shah put them to death. You know? It's like this is Rock 24 and 24. It says, faint not to be strong in the Lord, that he may confirm you. Cleave unto him, for the Lord Almighty is God alone, and beside him there is no other Savior. He said, cleave unto him, man. That word, you know, when you have a woman, you hold on to that woman, you know? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hold on to this truth for your life, man. For your life. You don't want to be on the other side, man. You don't. It's miraculous, man. It's, it's, it's the most, it's the best thing to know that you that you have a nationality and that your God loves you, man. You know? That's why I said, that's why I said, faint not. Just like the scripture we just read, it says, woe to him that have lost patience. It's the same thing. It says, faint not. Meaning, don't get weak in this truth, man. Don't, don't get weary. Yeah, it be times that you, your spirit and, and soul get tried, but that don't mean for you to get weak and give in to that, that weak spirit, man, that weak nature. That's right. Hold on. Just like you see the demon on that little kid. That's right. Making his face. He already crippled, but you see the demon on his face, why he just made. That's why he crippled. That's why the Lord brought him back for his punishment to be a handicap, That's be right. a paraplegic. You just seen, we just seen the demons on that little kid's face, the little Edomite. See what I'm saying? Face all balled up looking at it. That's why he crippled. That's his punishment. For what? Coming against the men and the Lord, just like he did in the past time. He was probably one of them wicked Roman centurions back in Rome, or just one of them wicked Edomites in Rome, period, that came against the men and the Lord. That's why you got to be careful of how you say or talk to the men of the Lord, man. Because the Lord will pronounce swift judgment on your ass. That's right. He ain't no respect to a person. He don't care who you are. You could be a mayor. You could be a governor. You could be a president. You could be a professional athlete or a professional beautician. It don't matter, man. You could be a church pastor. It don't matter. You come against the Lord, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. Point blank, period. And the way you come against the Lord is coming against his prophets that he sent out here, you know? And going against his uh, commandments, you know? So you brothers out 
out there that's, that's sitting on their corners and not doing what you're supposed to, man. Y'all y'all gonna get death, man. That, that's, that's it. That, that's it. There is no, no gray area with the most high, man. It's either you do this or you do that. You know? Because in certain ways you're supposed to build a temple. 
You know what I'm saying? And then two, you got you got homosexuals, you got adulterers and adulteresses in the church. So how's the Lord honoring it? He's not. You know what I'm saying? You got scam artists in the church. You got all kind of demons in these churches. That's why you see people get uh they call themselves praying in tongues, their eyes get rolling back of their head, they run around church, those are number demons. So when you look up the word tongue in the Bible, it comes from the word glossolalia, which means another language. Not no, I shuffle another trouble, no, that's not a language, that's confusion. Because if you don't know what you're saying, how can this person get up and interpret what you're saying that you don't know what you're saying? That's confusion. So what they mean by language, it means like, let's say you call from friends. You know, I, I speak people, and this brother, and he speak, uh, let's say he speak French too, and no Hebrew, he's going to interpret what I'm saying to you, and you and, and he's going to interpret what you're saying to me. So we don't call him Jesus. No, no, no. He's calling me Howard Shaw. Howashah means he the deliverer or he saved in Hebrew because he was a Hebrew. So if you're a Hebrew and grow speaking Hebrew, you're going to have what? A Hebrew name. See what I'm saying? So when he's saying Jesus, he's saying a demonic name. Right, because really, they put that name Jesus on this man right here. See, the reason why we got horns on this man, he said he's the devil because actually the white man is the devil because he put this picture up to be the Lord to deceive the whole world. Crucified and given his life up for the Israelites. That's a problem. Because 
looking at your chart, and I'm seeing like Judah and Negro. Yeah. Like I read, so that's saying like David and Solomon, the Lord Himself. Yeah. That's, the Lord Himself is your big brother. He was the so-called. If He was to walk on this earth right now, and these white folks look at Him, He's standing beside you. They'd be like, man, look at them niggas right there. Why you think him and his family kept fleeing into Egypt because Egypt looked closely more like them instead of their wife? I always felt like, you know, you know I ain't gonna front. I've been a part of this world yeah. and I'm trying to find a better life. That's from where I come from. Study so much stuff. Not practice. Studying. I can just say fucking with us, right? With all due respect. Right, so right. I was wondering, like, all these years. Why you ain't marching with us? Get a Exodus 11 and 7. I'm gonna answer that question right quick. Exodus 11 and 7. They know well, like, 